Khloe Kardashian and Kris Jenner address the cheating scandal. Justin Bieber defends Kanye West. And g Easy gets arrested in Sweden. Uh-oh, all that and more on today's rundown. This episode is brought to you by Invisalign Treatment. Get straight teeth two times faster. Guys, it's Friday, and it's also another episode of the Daily Hollywood Rundown, and we have a lot to talk about, but one of the things you have to talk about is Gigi Hadid apologizing for this whole Vogue Italia cover. Ooh. You know what I'm talking about. I thought you were gonna say something else about it, but you didn't. That was very <laughs> nice and journalistic you know, of you. You know? Uh, but let's start this show with Justin Bieber responding, actually defending Kanye West. Huh? In case you missed it, which I'm sure you have not, Kanye <laughs> West has come under fire recently for some very controversial comments, including outwardly expressing his support for President Donald Trump and also saying that he believes that slavery was a choice. Several celebrities, including Kanye's good friend John Legend, have expressed their disappointment with Kanye's recent actions. And so many other celebs have as well, with many unfollowing him on Twitter altogether, like Drake, Rihanna, Harry Styles, and The Weeknd, just to name a few. Shockingly enough, though, there have been some other celebrities that have come to his defense, like Chance the Rapper, and yes, Justin Bieber. Yesterday, Justin took to Instagram to send Kanye some love, writing, our job is to love, not to always agree. Love you, Kanye. Although he didn't necessarily say he agrees with Kanye's statement, his defense of the rapper sent Twitter into a frenzy with the trending hashtag, Justin Bieber is over party. Yikes. Ooh. Did you see this TMZ video of Kanye this week? Yes. I feel like at this point, like everybody has seen it and I'm not saying Justin Bieber is over. I'm not gonna take it that far. Cause what Justin said, I don't really think is that bad. I think for me, I do believe our job is to love everybody. Yeah. Will I be supporting Kanye's music or him as a person really anymore? Like his artistic endeavors? No, his fashion? No. I will still love him cause I love everyone, but I can't, you know what I mean? Like yeah. there's a, there has to be a, a line drawn and what he said was so damaging this week and I'm completely against it. So. At this point for me, even though he used to be one of my favorite artists, and I was talking about this on my podcast earlier this week, it's really hard for me now because I have like my hype music playlist when I'm at the gym. Oh, yeah. And a lot of his songs are on yeah, there. Yeah. And now when it comes on, like any of his songs, I hear like the first three seconds and I start and I'm like, oh, it's Kanye. And then I have to like immediately like go to the next song. And it's just. I know. <sighs> I just, you know, I've really tried to dig into this story this week and like figure it out. I do have this heart run, like I feel like everybody can change and everybody's heart can change. I actually feel like Kanye is a t the type of person, and I know these types of people, through times in my life I've been like this, who says things that he hasn't thought through and he doesn't really even understand what he's saying, so he just kind of like word vomits. Mm -hmm. And maybe sometimes what he says isn't truly what he actually means. Like, I think he actually means sometimes the opposite of what he says, which is so bizarre. Um, so I'm hoping that that was the case with this rant. I hope that, I don't know, it just is really difficult because he is so talented. He's and he super has talented. such a platform. And I really think that some of the things he says are like, I'm like, wow, that's, that's pretty deep. Yeah, but then the, the, the issue is when you have people telling you for years, you're a genius and you're so mm -hmm. smart on certain things, I think it got to his head and, Anybody knows the smartest people are the ones who listen. And so you can think you know everything, but if you're not listening and taking, he says that he, he says something in his Charlemagne interview um, about how he learns from the world. Like he doesn't read or really, he like learns from the world around him, which in theory sounds like, oh, that sounds like a smart thing, but like you still need to, to read educated. and like be educated. And it's just, he's very um, artistically, I would say he is, I don't even want to, Get from this type of genius where he's very talented artistically. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that you are knowledgeable about everything. Yeah. And I, I, this is another example of like some celebrities shouldn't comment on politics. Well, Chris has some things to say, but we'll talk about that in a Later. second. First, I have to tell you about what Chloe had to say because for 
weeks now. We have been waiting for Chloe to address this whole cheating scandal, mm -hmm. right? And you know, she had the baby, but right before she had the baby, everything came out with Tristan Thompson and she just really hasn't said anything about the alleged cheating, even though there's photos and videos and everything. Yeah. But we finally have a response from Chloe. Ever since news broke that Tristan Thompson has allegedly cheated on Chloe with multiple women, many fans, haters, and just nosy people in general are anxiously awaiting for Chloe to respond to the allegations. And we finally have a response so first we have to recap because on Wednesday we learned that Chloe actually went as far as to disable all the comments on photos of her and Tristan, which pretty much means that Chloe doesn't want to hear it and doesn't care what people think of her relationship with Tristan at this time. Well, Chloe has resurfaced on Instagram because two days ago, Kylie uploaded this photo of her and her daughter Stormy in matching outfits, and Chloe commented on the photo saying, both of my cuties, and on the same day, E! News uploaded a photo of Chloe and her sister Courtney with the caption reading, quote, Chloe feels like she is living in her own personal hell. If there's any sister that understands a bit of what Chloe is going through, it's Courtney Kardashian. Link in bio for the exclusive story how Chloe is learning to cope by leaning on her sister. And then Chloe commented on that photo saying, oh damn, I hope I don't crush her by leaning on her. I love my little Courtney Kardashian. Honestly, I was confused because some people turned this to a whole thing like, oh, she just clapped back at E when really it just seems like she's playing around. Yeah. I think we're all just kind of searching for any type of semblance of Chloe, how are you feeling regarding this whole situation? Her disabling the comments kind of gives us a sign of just leave me alone and let me deal with this yeah. privately. But we all, just because of the way our society is and because she's on one of the biggest shows on television for a decade now, Keeping Up the Kardashians, where she's very open about her life, yeah. we kind of just want to know, hey girl, what's going on? You know? I'm going to tell you what's going on. Oh. She's sad. Yeah. She's depressed. Yeah. She's lonely. Yeah. Her heart is broken. I don't know her personally, but I can guarantee you that's how she feels. And when you feel like that, you can't, it's hard to even get up in the morning. Like I can't, I don't have any expectations of Chloe to be on social media or comment. If she comments, it is a little gym. At least we know that she is alive today That's and true. feeling good enough to type something on a screen. <laughs> like I would never trade places with Chloe. I would never wish what happened with uh, to Chloe on my worst enemy. And I'm okay with her taking a break. I think she needs it. Like I just yeah. I worry for her. I don't know why I connect, but I just am so sad. And speaking of Chloe, Chris. Jenner opens up about the scandal on Ellen. <sighs> and it wasn't just Kim Kardashian who spilled some tea on this cheating scandal on Ellen. Kris Jenner also stopped by the Ellen show today to talk about everything that has been going on with her very big family. The momager got a little choked up as she spoke about how proud she is of her daughter and how she's been handling this situation. But Chloe is a Amazing, I'm so proud of that kid. Good, yeah, good. I get choked up because she's such, she's such a good mom. And honestly, it makes me, it gets so emotional. Chris also revealed that the moment that the cheating videos came out, she and the rest of the family sprung into action, packed their bags and headed straight to Cleveland where Chloe gave birth just hours later. Talk about some crazy timing. You must've been furious. I think we do what we always do and that's spring into action with love and we all hopped on a plane and flew to Cleveland because that's what we know to do. We just, I'm there to support my kids no matter what happens. Now Chris didn't say anything directly about Chloe and Tristan's current relationship status, but she reiterated that Chloe is 100% focused on being a mom right now. Chris was also asked about the recent situation dominating the headlines featuring her son-in-law Kanye and Ellen was pretty straightforward when she brought it up. Chris kind of answered the question, sort of. Kanye has a lot of love for all of you, all of his fans, and everybody who's been there to support him forever. And I know that he will explain himself in his own way. And I think that anything he does, and I just think this is important to say, is he always does things with really good intentions. So I know we just deep dove into the Kanye situation, mm -hmm. so I don't wanna go there, but I do think it's really interesting that Chris went on Ellen to talk about all the crazy things that are happening in her life. Kanye, Chloe, Tristan, she talked about Kylie. I mean, poor, Chris must be exhausted. You know what? Ever since, there's an episode about, I wanna say like four or five months ago, maybe even before that, 
of Keeping Up the Kardashians where they had this expert on there that does media training. And he has this book, I actually bought the book, it's really great, but ever since when I watched him on an interview, I'm like, we're not gonna get anything because they've been trained, they literally are trained to respond to these situations. And when I was watching these interviews, I was looking to see how she's gonna respond and her face stays neutral, she gives a little smile to Ellen and then the answers are so vague and roundabout where we're not really getting any new details, yeah. it's just, Oh, so you didn't really tell us anything, but you're processing as you're watching, you're like, it feels like you got something and we didn't get anything. Anything's talent. It's it's actually pretty incredible. Yeah. I love that Ellen called her out though. Yeah. Later in the episode, she was like, later in the episode, in the interview, she was like, Chris, you always lie to me. You always come here, you say lies. You, I believe your lies, but I don't believe your lies anymore. You're a really good liar. And every time you say something, now I know you're lying. So at least Ellen called her out. We have that. So like we said, like we said, <laughs> like I said earlier, uh, Gigi Hadid is facing some backlash for her Vogue Italia cover where she appears to be very bronze and people are calling it blackface and she has responded and you have to hear what she has to say. So although it may feel like Gigi Hadid has been on every single Vogue cover possible, it should be normal for her at this point. She still gets emotionally excited though every time she appears on the iconic fashion magazine well, when the 23-year-old revealed her newest cover for Vogue Italia, she said that she was, quote, excited, honored, and grateful. But instead of getting praise for yet another killer photo shoot, Gigi was met with concern and questions because in the cover photo, her skin color is noticeably darker than it usually is. So much so that many people called her out on using blackface. Now, obviously this is a serious issue and it didn't take long for the model to comment on the situation. Gigi posted a paparazzi photo that was taken when she was leading the cover shoot back in April that showed what color her skin was when the pictures were actually being taken. She captioned the photo with a long explanation and apology. Gigi focused on the fact that she was seriously bronzed for the photo shoot saying, quote, the bronzing in Photoshop is a style that S. Klein has done for many years. And quote, although I understand what Vogue Italia's intentions were, it was not executed correctly and the concerns that have been brought up are valid. She also explained that she has zero control over how a final image comes out saying, quote, please understand that my control of a shoot, one, is non-existent in terms of creative direction, Two ends completely when I leave set and anything done to a photo and post is out of my control fully. She summed up her thoughts on the accusations by saying, quote, please know that things would have been different if my control of the situation was different. Regardless, I want to apologize because my intention is never to diminish these concerns or take opportunities away from anyone else. What a very responsible, mature yeah. response. I read this and I was like, was this, are we sure this wasn't her people who did this? Cause I, sh this is very well thought out and I actually think she's right. I think a lot of these models show up, they are posed, they put in, they're putting things and they have no idea what's gonna happen after they leave and it's not up to them, you know? Unfortunately, being a model in an ad, you don't have the power, you're paid to be there. And I I like that she showed us this perspective because I think a lot of people don't realize that. They think Gigi Hadid is like a superstar and she makes all the calls, but yeah. she doesn't. Here's what I have to say to you, Gigi. I'm very proud too. Yeah. Um, I think the response, even, I, I for some reason it doesn't feel like it was from her people, even if she did have a little help, which I don't think she did, but, there's a couple of things that made me really happy with this. One, like you said, people think she has control, but if you really think about a supermodel, because we have to call her a supermodel at this point, right? Yeah. She's literally on everything, on all the covers, on all these billboards, or somebody that busy. She gets the details about the shoot, she goes in, she sits down, has her makeup done, has her hair done, she shoots, and then she leaves. Th yeah. That's it, right? And then also, <sighs> So there was a thread on Twitter where a couple people were saying like, but she still shared the photo and then she got the backlash and then she did this apology. But here's the thing. If you're involved in the photo shoot, you see the photo come out, it's already in print and everything, like, and you you were part of that, you're gonna be like. So, well, a bunch of people approved right. it. I... I'm gonna share this. And then when you get the backlash, okay, I didn't see it that way, but I understand where people are coming from. What I loved about what she says in that final sentence, where she says, regardless, I wanna apologize because my intention is to never diminish these concerns or take opportunities away from anyone else. I feel like a lot of times when we have these issues of blackface or when there's people who are cast in movies and TV shows where it's supposed to be this ethnicity and it's somebody else, the whole issue is, or one of the issues is, you're taking that opportunity away from somebody else. So I like how she's saying, that was never my intention because I was just doing this job and if anything, she could have taken a completely different approach to this apology or not said anything at all. And I actually respect her for addressing this head on and just mm -hmm. moving forward. But to be fair, she's had a lot of practice because every time every she time. does something. I would never want to be a model. Yeah. Like it just, she you can never win. Always gets backlash. And so. another thing too, I, I just thought of, 
who knows what her contract says? Her contract might say that she has to share. Right. Like I know because of her following and who she is, they usually put that in your contract that you will agree to post or repost or whatever on Instagram or Twitter or whatever. So she may have had to do that contractually. Yeah. Wow, have you guys heard about this g -E arrest that happened in yes. Sweden? It's juicy. News broke yesterday that g -E was arrested for assault and cocaine possession. And now we're getting more details about what actually really happened. So while he was in Sweden, he was having a good old time at a club when things went real south real fast. According to TMZ, g -E was arrested after getting into a fight at the club and punching a bouncer. It turns out that he was actually aiming for a fan that asked for a photo earlier and came back after he declined to take the photo again. Someone in his crew then grabbed the fan's phone and threw it down and that's when the fight began. Cops in Sweden released pics showing the bouncer's shaved head and the $100 bill he allegedly used for his cocaine. His attorney told TMZ that his client is now a free man and as of now, TMZ is reporting that GEZ will have to pay restitution to the victim and around $9,000 in fines. Things are so different in Europe. You just have cocaine possession and just pay $9,000 in fines. Uh, I know. Salt somebody, have some cocaine, and you're fine. I mean, that's probably just like a normal night at like bottle service right. for him. Um, it's interesting. I feel like clubs are just not a good place to be if you're a celebrity. <laughs> like, I feel like you are around fans, yeah. it's loud, everyone's intoxicated or worse, drugged up on something, you're in the dark. I just, I feel like if you're a celebrity, you should like have your own parties at your own house yeah. and not go to the club with other people. If you don't wanna be harassed by people wanting to take photos of you, then don't go to a crowded club. I agree with that. Okay, Justin Bieber supporting Kanye kind of, sort of. Do you think he should have said what he said? Do you think he should completely cut ties with Kanye? Let us know in the comments. And also, what do you think about Gigi Hadid's apology? Do you like it? Do you love it? Let us know. And of course, we hope that you have a wonderful weekend. And don't forget to subscribe. Yes. Please. Click right to watch our episode of What the Flavor, where we recreate a Taco Bell recipe. And thanks again to Invisalign Treatment for sponsoring this episode. Click the link in the description below to check out the Invisalign Smile Quiz.